Hello once again, welcome to the Bahamas and the PokerStars Caribbean Adventure 2019. It's the final table of the 10K main event. We had 865 entries. Now we are down to just six players competing today for the PCA Trophy and a first prize of more than $1.5 million. Hello, everyone. It's James Hartigan with Joe Stapleton. Hello, my babies. And Griffin Benger. Hey, everyone. Big day today. Final table day. And I don't want to jinx it, fellas, because we still have today to go, but we've almost made it. 11 consecutive days, Joe. We did it. It's been a heck of a festival. Numbers beyond anyone's expectations. Lots of money given away. Lots of brand new millionaires, and there's going to be even more money handed out today at this final table. And Griffin, we started so strong with the PSPC, and then we segued straight into the super high roller. It was always going to be a question of, can we keep up the momentum? Can we keep up the excitement? But we've actually got here a pretty strong final table that should keep those excitement levels up. Yeah, really exciting. A lot of really talented players on this final table. Uh, you know, the three Americans, Chino Reem, obviously always talking and creating entertainment for the viewers at home. Brian Altman uh, is someone who I think is really a favorite for me coming into this final table. He's really had the best results in the last five years. I think he's one of the strongest tournament players uh, in America. You got Pavel Vexler, who finally started opening up a bit. And of course, the amateur, uh, Scott Wellenbrack, is really the guy that, uh, you know, I'm rooting for. Uh, from He's from Halifax. So let's, let's get that done. So many good stories to discuss. But before we do that, let's look at the chip counts of the final six players. Uh, Chino Reem is coming in with nearly 100 big blinds. Scott Wellenbrack, second in chips. And Griffin, you highlighted Brian Altman as someone to watch. He's deep with 62 bigs. I can tell you from experience that he's really, really tough to play against and has a great table presence. So he's someone that I think will really give uh, Chino Reem a run for his money on his direct left. Daniel Strelitz is someone who has had a lot of success on the tour as well. He's a WPT champion uh, with a huge score there. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of experience on this table. We can't not talk about Pavel Vexler, who's played really excellently whenever he's been on the final ta feature table, which yeah. it seemed like always. So there's just everyone. There's an interesting story. It's really fun. Uh, Joe, we need to send you away because we've got to get you on set, got to get you into position because you have a very important job to do. Uh, Griffin, let's discuss the payouts at this final table, the money that is still up for grabs. So the next player out is going to get nearly 300k, then a significant jump with fifth place locking up nearly 400k, more than half a million for fourth, $671,000 for third. The runner-up gets close to a million, 951 grand, with a winner receiving more than 1.5 million, plus the PCA 2019 Main Event Trophy. It's going to be an exciting day from Atlantis Paradise Island as we play down from six to a champion. And let's go down to the floor. Joe's in position. Hello and welcome to the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island in the Bahamas for the final table of the 2019 PCA main event. It has been an absolutely insane festival and it all culminates today with six players still vying for $1.5 million up top in the first main event trophy of 2019. Let's meet them now. The player in seat one has a hell of a story. He's 67 years old and plans to donate his net winnings to charity. He spent most of his adult life translating Buddhist teachings. His body is precious, but so are his chips. Scott the Dean Wellenbeck. The player in seat two is a highly accomplished live and online player who goes by the handle Deoxyribo. He's one of the shorter stacks coming into play today, so the double helix could use a double up from the United States of America, Daniel Strelitz. <laughs> the player in C3 has a style and energy that are wildly unique. He's racked up over $9 million in live earnings, and in this event alone, he has racked up more than nine hours of massage. That's so Chino from the United States of America, Chino Reem. Our next player has seven lifetime caches at the PCA and nearly $3 million in live poker earnings, almost enough to make up for his devastating pub trivia losses from the United States of America, Brian Altman. Throughout the course of this festival, the player in seat five has been at the feature table seemingly dozens of times and well, we've gotten rather attached. He's locked up his first ever six-figure score from Ukraine, Pavel Vexler. 
Our final player has also unlocked his first ever six-figure cash badge. He's ranked 111th on his country's all-time money list, but a win here today will cause him to hump dozens of spots from Spain, Vicente Bosca. Let's get a big round of applause for all the players here at the final table. Dealer Daniela, you know what to do. Good luck, everyone. No super short stacks at the table. Pavel Vexler is the low man, but he's got 25 big blinds. So round to Bosca. And he's going to race. Griffin, do you think everyone's going to play relatively honestly right now to kick things off? I think that, uh, that Wellenbach will probably be opening up pretty much hands that he just wants to play. I don't think he's going to have a lot of... Uh, is it open? You know, informing okay. experience, playing, you, you know, final tables and, and, sure. and, and the like. So he might just sort of like, you know, if he likes a hand to play, he'll open it up. Um, and, you know, I think Strelitz is going to have to play pretty tight with Chino on his left, who likes to see a lot of flops. Interesting to see Boss get elect to open up this combination into Reem's big blind, um, but wasn't willing to open up the king seven off at the cutoff when he just had to get through well and back. No surprise to see a quick call here from Reem. Him check raising a ace jack queen board would really get the alarm bells going for Bosca, so. I like the quick call there too, because I think a lot of times that can come off as that you're on a draw. So as like Yeah, a, or that you have middling strength, like a Queen X hand or a yeah. raggy ace. Just a hand you maybe a jack ten. Pre decided you wanted to see another card. Yeah, it's difficult for Bosca not decide to uh to barrel here. He's Gonna, but he, it's, you know, he's going to expect some folds from, from some calls. queen X's. You know, I mean, Chino's going to call queen seven suited from the big, you know, jack nine off hands like this that really won't be able to withstand pressure on the turn. But and also, Boska knows that he he blocks the king ten. So there aren't a lot of massive hands that Reem should have here on this board from the big blind. And Reem just loving life right now. Complete rainbow texture. So the board pairs on the river. Hard Oscar. to know. Left with just 10 high. Yeah, and just under a pot size bet left. He is reaching for chips, and it's hard to blame him. I mean, Reem's not often going to call twice with just a jack here. So a lot of the times he is going to have an ace -X on the flop, a calling twice. forward motion there. Maybe trying to get a bit of a read from Chino. Not the bad either. What do you think this is, football, James? Yep. Forward motion. Wow. Next, you're going to want to look at the instant replay. Really, really, really. For you. Yep. So Chino Reem increases his chip lead up to 8.5 million, more than 100 big blinds. And Bosca drops down to 23 bigs. He's now the low man at this six-handed final table. They were discussing how that was a bad river for him to, to bet. And it's, it's not necessarily always about whether or not you think Chino has a lot of jacks calling twice. It has way more to do with the fact that, okay, well, what am I repping here if I decide to three barrel here? Um, the way that the jack kind of changes the texture. I wouldn't be betting a big, I wouldn't be shoving all in with a big ace here. So he gets away there from a disastrous three barrel bluff spot. Decent I started ace. started the day with the two thirty-five or two thirty-five, two two million. The Vexler's open to 160,000. Scott Wallenbach in with ace nine. And Griffin's right, he's gonna play the hands he wants to play. 
It was 160. Yeah. All right, put, sorry. <laughs> Thirty-five on my mind. <laughs> Altman getting better than five to one. Yeah, really horrible hand. <laughs> yeah, but Blind, better this than the nine-five off I mean, certainly. Like so you know some potential to continue on some spade Shut boards. In the of the Hard not to put the single chip in. Well, it's an ace high flop. This could be danger for the Dean. Backdoor flush draws for Vexler and Wellenbach as well. So if we get a red turn card, as we expect both of them to see a turn, we'll make it a little more interesting. Vexler continuing for 275,000. I like the sizing from Vexler here. It's a little bigger than I think people would normally um, bet on sort of a pretty dry ace high texture. But he recognizes that well and back, you know, when he does have an ace, he's always going to have a weaker ace here. You know, he would have re-raised with a hand like ace queen or ace king. So he wants to uh, start getting some chips in the middle there ace and queen? start to... Uh, ace king? Still a hand going ace on here. David. You know, selfishly bothering his <laughs> other opponent about what he had the previous hand that he flopped Broadway in. And there's a big hand happening between the Ukrainian and Canadian. I can't do anything else. Yeah? I can't do anything. You Sorry. can shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything else. And Vexler loving life here, getting the extra value from hands that he knows are really strongly weighted to ace-10, ace-9, ace-8 suited, ace-7 suited. But those combinations did include hands like queen-10 queen ten of hearts, you know, queen-9 of hearts, 9-10 of hearts, 7-8 of hearts. So he's not loving this heart river, but I will say that Wellenbach is probably more weighted to ace-x hands because Vexler has the jack of hearts in his hand. So that takes out hands like jack-10 of hearts, queen-jack of hearts, and the king being a heart even eliminates one of the heart commas as well. So Vexler's going to be happy to take down this 2.1 million chip pot. He knows that that river's cost him some money, but Wellenbach may not have called three bullets. So he's going to be real happy to, uh, to jump up the counts with that pot right there. There's a reason why they call ace-9 a trap hand. So that's a huge pot for Vexler, considering his chip position at the start of the day. He's now got a 40 big blind stack. Scott Wallenbach drops down to 5.2 million, still playing 65 bigs and still second on the leaderboard. Vexler, ace four of clubs. This is hand number eight of the final table. Great start for Pavel. Already made 13 big blinds, just seven hands in. It's kind of the way you want to start. Wombach really seems like he came to play today. He is. He came to play yesterday, too. I mean, he's been nothing if not consistent. He will take it to the streets, the as match? they say. Wombach calling in position. Chino now with the decision in the big blind, and that's a three bet. 420. That's so Chino. 420,000. And this is a very small squeeze. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it looks <laughs> exceptionally strong. Too strong, actually. Um, and I think it's going to, you know, it's definitely going to scare off we Vexer. Having said that, it is a pretty remarkable price, 240, 60 more. And he knows well and back is probably just going to call behind. So even though he knows that this looks like massively strong, I would expect a Vexler to, uh, to continue in this hand and well and back. And I, I think that, you know, it's, it's interesting because most professionals here, I think, would make it much, much bigger, probably in the range of like six to 700. Um, and that would probably scare off the two opponents with the weak hand. So Reem is, if he wants action, he's getting it. 
but you know he's gonna have to tread pretty lightly with two hands behind and he's out of position so far so the original razor has called and one of the backs calling as well this definitely represents the level of comfort for Chino. Nearly 1.4 million to, in the pot already. Willing to go three ways, and that's one of the reasons. Well, this is interesting. Vexel up with top pair. Well and back with a flush draw. Chino now has the least amount of equity. <laughs> it's <laughs> Take wild. the freebie, Scotty. Everyone checks. Nine of spades on the turn. Chino checks a second time. Exactly the point I wanted to make. Who cares? Who cares if that bet sizing screams huge hand? It's like two to one when you have kings and aces gonna flop anyway. Now facing such a big bet, does the Dean He ain't no he hasn't gotten this far by folding flush draws, Joe. Calls the 625. I imagine Chino will let this go. Bet and a call. Got to figure one of these guys has got an ace. And yep. Got a dirty stack. He ditches the kings. Heads up to the river. Eight of clubs. So the board has bricked out for Scott Wellenbach. But it hasn't necessarily bricked out for what Vexler might put Wellenbach on. That does complete the double gutter jack 10. So Vexler has checked, now here's the question. Can Wellenbach bluff the river? Nope, he's checked it back really quickly. And that is a sizable pot to win here, James. It's gonna bump him up to 4.6 million. That's uh, up there in, you know, third and chips now. Yes, Pablo Vexler started the day as the shortest stack at the table. He's now more than double this stack, 57 bigs. <clears throat> Chino's opened under the gun with Jack seven of clubs. Pavel Vexler with ace ten of clubs in the cutoff. I like this flat here from Vexler. I think if he wants to go after Chino pre-flop, he should not have hands that flop so damn well as a call. Well and Black back is going to get involved too, and I like these three hands. Real fair fight out there. One man with a sword, another with a spear. A morning star. And a hammer. Are we going full way to the flop here? I've been watching a lot of Castlevania on Netflix. So ah, <laughs> explains it. It's a great, it's a great series. King 10 deuce. It's a top pair for Wellen back. Second pair, top kick up for Vexler. Top. Two players at the table with backdoor club draws. Yeah, top pair for Wellenbeck, but a, a sizable amount of the equity four ways. Yeah, and he has bet 500,000. Such an unconventional way to play this hand with, with a lead here from the small. Vexler gonna break down Wellenbeck's range here and balance it between, you know, kings and then diamond draws. So he's gonna have to continue, especially with those backdoor clubs. Now we know two of his clubs at least are gone with Chino folding the jack seven of clubs, but and definitely too strong to fold even to a over half pot size bet. Queen of spades on the turn. Card might slow down Scott to a check. Thanks. And Vexler would love Why that free card. But this pot is definitely getting pretty big. You know, with four people seeing a, uh, a two and a half X raise pre-flop. Maybe if I'm in You can see there's already almost, almost 25 big blinds in the pot. Wow, 1.1 million. The second barrel from Wellenbach. Price of poker's going up. You ever heard that one before? Are we betting seven digits now? Two commas in this bet. 
I haven't seen a ton of seven-digit bets in this uh, tournament. They usually have two words that accompany them. Ten. I bet. <laughs> no, all in. Vexel up forced to fold ace-10 on the turn. And Scott Wallenbach that's reclaims that's the number two position on the leaderboard. Up, for me. up to 5.3 million, 65 bigs. I am 67, soon to be 68 next month. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. I translate for a non-profit organization called the Nalanda Translation Committee, and we translate Buddhist literature for Buddhist practitioners around the world, but primarily in North America. For many, many years now, I've been giving all my net profit, not my winnings, because some, you know, some nights you're playing poker and you win, and the next night you lose, right? So my net profit to charity for a number of reasons. First, I'm in a very fortunate position. I'm able to do this. I'm still working. The job, you know, translator, it pays a decent salary. Uh, it certainly covers my living expenses. Since Buddhists tend to be very frugal, we sit around and meditate. Everyone can do that for free. You know, it, it doesn't really cost anything. And also, I've been very fortunate um, investing over the last number of decades. So I'm financially comfortable. I believe I am the only recreational player, uh, as they say, or amateur. I, I'm sure of them the least experienced player at the table. So maybe I'm good enough that if the poker gods smile broadly in my direction, as they have been, I won't blow it. Uh, and maybe that could happen and then that will be even more fortunate than I've been already. Two fifty. There he is. The Dean. School is in session. <laughs> 250,000. Strelitz, a little handcuffed at this point. Yeah, if you're, if you're a little bit deeper, you can definitely call there, maybe put out a little funky raise sometimes. But with Chino behind you, it just becomes so much di more difficult. There's no need, you know, there's no need to get out of line right now. Um, I, for one, can't wait for everyone to play super passively against each other for the next three hours until it turns into a 28 big blind deep shove fest. No, I actually can't. That's amazing. It's so, because then you start seeing <coughs> panic in people's eyes, you know, with what's going on. And I, I think that just adds another layer of psychology there. Um, plus, you know, some final tables are just meant to be playing passively. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are very close. And uh, there's also a chip leader who likes to play flops. You know, Chino just likes to play multi street. <laughs> Um. <clears throat> Look at Wellen back. C betting the king high board. Ooh. Altman did manage to outflop him. Brian Altman always looks like he's trying to figure out where a smell is coming from. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's pretty spot on. I saw him uh, walking outside this morning. I wanted to say, nice spoiler, dude, but still, uh, <laughs> hadn't started yet, I guess. <laughs> Ace on the turn. I wonder if Wallenbeck was like protecting his fives or just like, okay, let's get this over with. Because if he's not, if he's thinking, I need to get some better hands out too, because he, you know, he likes some bigger sizings, but. Um, the ace would be a pretty good card from the bet. Yes, fantastic. 800,000 too. Look at that. That's just. We have not seen much of this from the Dean today. That's so solid. One of the nice things is if you bet really big on flops, ace highs will fold, right? So when the ace comes, no, normally when you, you, when you go super wizards and you bet like 25% pot there and somebody calls and the turn is an ace, then you always think, now, do I have the ace or do you have the ace? Whereas now you're just like, yo, I have the ace, so get out. Well, know? I think he knew that, that he didn't have the ace, but maybe. <laughs> Scott Wellen back in the small blind. 400. Raise the 400,000. Oh, 
All in. All in. Oh, look at this. Oh. You, you might do that. And I was wondering what I was going to do. <laughs> it's okay. It happened very quickly. You can take some I call. Time. Hey, oh, calls. Yeah. Wow, big flip here. Yeah. Potentially for sixth place. Oh, man. Four million okay. chips in this pot. We got the three for safe chat. Great, great moves by both players. This just happens sometimes. Gina, should I have called there? I would have called. That's different from whether I should have. I would have, I would have every time, yes. You did nothing wrong. Thank you. Win or lose, you did nothing wrong in the hand. Neither did he. Understood. Understood. Thank yeah. you, Gino. 51%. For Strelitz, 49%. He has, threes, he has ace jack. For well and back. For Strelitz, tournament life. 9 mm. 9 4. Paired board, never that great of a sign, but at least there's no ace and no jack. Yeah, no back. The floor straw available for well and back. Still 38% on the flop. Eats a race. Ooh. Ace on the turn. All but seals the deal for Daniel Strelitz. Needs a three for the Deoxy rival double helix double up. Oh. He gets there on the river. Oh. What? what? It's two million ten thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, just give it a All second. Right. My Calm down, dude. You're gonna get paid. It's not even cold yet. Wow. My goodness. Go. Two million ten thousand. Give me, give me some you. of that. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Farrell oh, on the rail. <laughs> That's pretty brave, just randomly taking a drink from a Scotsman. Just <laughs> All right, I'll have some of that. Oh, this is disgusting. There's actually some soda in it. <laughs> you want to bet it? You, you want to you bet on it? Wow. Thank you. Just like that, straight let's in seconds. So Gino Rehm with 91 big blinds, second in chips has 40 big blinds, and that's now Strelitz. So Strelitz was on the short stack, doubles up, he's in second. That just shows how close the bottom five contenders are. Man, this is this is a golden you opportunity for enough. Gino. Did you, did you see it right away? I saw the three, I think so. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know, I was like, it's all a blur already. <laughs> except, adrenaline going. except for the amount here, as you, that you nailed. Yeah. Double helix, double up. Oh, too bad. Nice hands on Lucky. Two million, ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Altman under the gun. Ace three of diamonds. What is that? Eggs? <laughs> Holds around to Dave Ream. Pocket oh. Queens. Oh, man. It, it, I mean, Alban just made a sick move with 9-8. Now he actually has the perfect type of hand to make pull the trigger with again. And the chip leader is raising you. Sometimes you just want to make a stand in it. Chino's play style is oh. not really to put a lot of pressure from the big blinds. Whoa, there you go. All in a call. Wow, uh, wait, Chino Reem in a Chimano much a better position. Wow, Brian Altman's eyes are bugging out right now. He is in much worse shape yeah. than Daniel Strelitz was on the last hand. Oh man, that's rough. He had a really good hand for that type of move, but you know, Chino isn't really the kind of player. Chino likes to play a lot of flops. He's in the big blinds. He, he can raises complete the a action. Lot. He doesn't three bet light very yeah. often. At least he hasn't the last what couple do you of think days. I have? You think I have that one? No, it's like a pasta, so easy to stream. We managed to avoid a sixth place elimination one hand ago. Oh, oh wow, Alman is. Uh... Brian Altman is drawing super thin. Just two cards to come. His only out right now are three aces. Will he get the miracle three on the river? Just like Daniel Strelitz, he can now hit one of those or an ace. Otherwise, it's bye-bye in sixth place.
And he is sweating it hard. The river's a 10. That's it for Brian Altman. Heartbreaking finish. Wow. Brian, it's really great to meet you. You can tell he is pretty crushed right now. Yeah, yeah, he's distraught. Hey, take Thank those. <laughs> In a few days, he'll get some consolation from the nearly $300,000 he just won. But for right now, he's off to figure out where in the heck that smell's coming from. Yeah, I mean, uh, props to Brian. He played, he played great. We've seen a lot of him yesterday as well. Very solid, very nice dude at the table Super as well. Super likable guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really enjoyed his presence. You're welcome, uh, boys. You're welcome, boys. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Everybody just gained $100,000. Next money jump is going to be $107,000. Everybody in fifth place makes $396,000. You're welcome, boys. That's so Chino. <laughs> My name is David Ream. I'm 38 years old, and I'm a poker player. Made you a little money. Everyone was bitching about the shorty. The shorty made the pay job. Feel good. Uh, I've been in like a little zone, uh, playing uh, playing this main event, just playing every day and just doing the same routine. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, one more day. You're welcome, boys. <laughs> Made you all money. Uh, I never, you know, try to overstep any boundaries. You know, sometimes we'll push some buttons just to see where they're at. It's all in, it's all in uh, good fun. It's not part of my game. I guess it's just part of who I am. I mean, I just. Uh, I'd rather be talkative than everyone silent and boring. I mean, what kind of, I don't want to be in that environment. It's, it's no fun. It's depressing. Ace Jack of Diamonds, the Vicen Bosca. I want to say he's going to put all the chips in now, but there's been a couple spots where he really hasn't done what I thought he would do. Well, we can see he's got a 14 big blind stack, just shy of 1.8 million. Playing a time bank card, gets an additional 30 seconds on the shot clock. There's the absolutely right way to play this hand. Well, it's a raise rather than a limp, but it's not all in. He's open to 260,000. And Chino calls in the big blind with 5-3 of clubs. Flop, queen, 10-3 with two diamonds. Huge draws for Bosca. Chino has paired his three. Could bet about a third pot here and then set yourself up for a pot size shove on the turn. 300K into 700K. Chino shoves on Bosca and Bosca calls all in. Not a, not oh, a huge good. whoops, we're ahead. Chino. A pair versus a gutter, flush shot, and two overs. <laughs> we're ahead. <laughs> no, 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 no. The short stack. We're not in. It's. We're ahead. Chino, yeah, Chino 5-3. <laughs> Chino is ahead for now, but Bosca <laughs> is a statistical favorite. Ahead can be very fleeting in these type of situations. Check it. <laughs> Bosca has more outs than you can shake a stick at. It's only for 1.5. Four pairs on the turn. And now more Chino outs. is more a statistical outs. favorite. However, more outs. Bosca's got 19 outs. Diamonds, jacks, queens, kings, aces. This could be a case of too many outs syndrome. I'll take another 10. I'm surprised he hasn't started walking away. That always works. That is a wow. blank on the river for Bosca. And Chino Reem eliminates the Spaniard in fifth place. Bosca cashing out for $396,880. We are finally down to four, and Chino has 14.4 million.
He's got 120 big blinds. Gino Reem can taste that trophy at $1.5 million. High on that run good. Really used his chip lead well on the final table. Got some nice coolers down the line as well. Some nice holds. Very ambitious play with the 5-3, but it worked out. Chino is asking for a count here because this shove is only about 12 or 13 big blinds. He can certainly, aff certainly afford it. But does he want to double up Wellenbach to 4 million? On the off chance he has a hand like King Jack. And he does elect to make the call and shouldn't come as any too much of a surprise. Pretty unlucky that Wellenbach actually has a big pair in this spot. All in for Wellenbach. his tournament life. Scott Wellenbach. <laughs> the Dean. Yeah. 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 I knew I had a rail. I just didn't know where you were. <laughs> Thank you for showing up. <laughs> Good luck. Thank three you. Three outs is three outs. Plus, plus some plus some, some plus plus great some, stuff. Some possibilities. Scott, I'm not gonna lie, everyone's not rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> some more outs. Oh, more outs. The 67 year old guy playing for charity has got plenty of fans. Yeah. <laughs> five outs is five outs. I didn't even know Grinder was here. I'll take the seven hearts, I don't mind it. Chino does pair his deuce on the flop. That's a good card for you. That is a good card for Wellenbach, who's now yeah. got. Now it takes some outs away. Some outs yeah. stolen from Chino. The river card for Wellenbach's tournament life. It's a nice queen, man. nines hold. <laughs> <laughs> Get that, get that man a beer, <laughs> or whatever you're drinking. <laughs> he only has so many hands, Scott. Nice hands. Thank you. I felt like gambling. Good hands, Scott. Could we level the playing field by like some little coaching? He could help me with the cards. Or, no? You don't need. You're doing just fine. You don't need any coaching. Uh, All your instincts are working fine. out for you. Oh, you also yeah. have a blue in the front stack. Chino looks hungry. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Vexler with 20 big blinds in the big blind. Right. He's just going to stuff it in there. And Vexler wakes up with two big hook cards, and he does. And here oh, we wow. go. Good Off to the races. We are flipping. All in. Guys, there's an all in. Sixes versus ace queen. Mm -hmm. Flip. Chino versus Pablo. Sixes. 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 Divide the five. Yeah. For that. King deuce. <laughs> 13. This is crazy. <laughs> Flipping for fourth place. You're ahead, man. Good luck. Good luck. Me too. Chino Reem holds the pocket pair. Two sixes for him. Vexler is going to need to hit to stay alive in this tournament. He has spent, he's made more appearances at our feature table over this festival than Red. anyone else. He's going to need to hit an ace or a queen as his immediate outs. Wow, wow. he's got more outs now. <laughs> Aces, kings, queens all working for him. Chino is going to have to run pretty pure on the turn and river to keep from doubling up Vexler. So far, so good, but more outs now. 13 of them, more than a quarter of the deck. Vexler has in his favor. 
And somehow Reem dodges yeah, them all. Bexler is two, out of here yeah. in fourth place. So he cashes out for five hundred and three thousand four hundred and forty dollars, and we are down to three. And classy this guy is. So where else do you make hundreds of thousands of dollars? <laughs> really impressive performance. Constantly found himself on the feature table. Always held himself with a lot of class. Raises with the ace-10. Scott Wallenbach is in the small blind. And he's got king-queen. With 10 bigs, I think I know what's going to happen. James, we're going to the racetrack. And Chino Reem has a bit of a head start. All in. Scott Wallenbach shoves. Strelitz in the big blind. Has ace-3 off. He folds. Chino Reem calls, putting the Dean at risk. Ace 10 versus King Queen. We have Ace 10, he has King Queen, all in. King Queen. No, it's Ace 10. <laughs> what? King Queen, Ace 10. Well and back with live cards, but if Ace High holds, we're heads up in the PCA main event. <laughs> you can hear how excitedly Daniel Strelitz relaying, relaying to his rail what their hands are, because this hand's worth $300,000 yeah. for him. That's the difference between second and third place. A huge swing for Daniel Strelitz. And an even bigger one for Wellenbach, who needs to win here with King Queen <laughs> to stay in the hunt for that 1.567 million US dollars. The flop is King High. <laughs> Wellenbach takes the lead, now an 87% favorite to double up. Six nine or a jack will give Chino some straight opportunities, but an ace is what he wants to see on the turn. That gives Chino additional outs. In addition to the ace two aces dead. left in the deck, queens ace and nines are working good. for him. Uh -oh. And can anyone stop Chino Reem? Seemingly not, because there's a nine on the river, which sends Scott Wellen back to the rail in third place. The Dean is done. $671,240 for that third place finish, which he will be donating to charity. What a beautiful story, Scott Wellenbach, yeah, fan favorite. It was an absolute yeah. pleasure watching you, my yeah. man. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. You're from Canada? Yeah, Toronto. Oh, thank you. You deserve to stand on the podium. This is the little bit podium for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you got third. <laughs> and we're going heads up, Griffin. Chino Reen with 130 bigs. Daniel Strelitz with 28 bigs. I mean, not, not right now. All right. Yeah. Heads up for the main event title. And a difference in prize money of $600,000. Seven deuce. And Gina raises. Don't expect to see Chino folding many buttons with all those chips. Doesn't want to give any give Strelitz any free pots. Oh, Strelitz flops the nut flush draw. Plus he's ahead with King High. 83% equity, and Chino's betting into him. Spear points out, if Strelitz can get a double up, it's a whole different game. Strelitz can comfortably play this, this hand pretty fast with 30 big blinds if he wanted to on the flop, but I think that he would also feel comfortable check shoving turns a lot and, and getting Reem to barrel twice with his air type hands. So I think that's where really that comes in. Check, check, and a deuce on the river. That's the only problem. You know, if your opponent does have air and you break out, 
How you know. pure is Chino Ream running? Deuce. Ready? I got a deuce. That's his thing, right? Let's see. He thinks Strelitz is going to have a five or a queen a lot here. So he's actually bluffing here with the seven deuce. 800,000 Strelitz can't possibly call. Well, I'll tell you what, <laughs> James. Uh, this does kind of look bluffy. Um, and Strelitz does have king high. So, you know, the times that Reem has 7-9 here, um, hands like 10-7, like there's still a consideration. So that's a really interesting uh, spot. But, I mean, I think it's certainly a fold. Chino was bluffing with the best hand, but again, everything going his way. <laughs> for like three drinks, I'd probably join. <gasps> oh, Feraldo, we love you. Strelitz with ace do suited. And with 21 big blinds, wouldn't be surprised to see Strelitz just shove this in. Not a hand you necessarily want to induce with. Colin, I call. He shoves in a quick call from Chino Ream, who's got pocket fives. We have fives here. I have ace deuce. He has fives. We have five. <laughs> Chino is a two to one favorite to win the PCA main event right here. Three, four, ten. Send your little wizard, tiny as fuck. Ace! I want to see it. Or is this going to be the beginning of the Strelitz comeback? Five, five. The flop is King Jack 10. More outs now for Strella. It's a queen or an ace. He will take the lead. Five still ahead with two cards to come. No additional outs for Strelitz. He needs an ace or a queen on the river. Chino Reem on the verge of victory. The river is a 10 and it's over. Chino Reem has dominated this final table from start to finish. And he takes yeah, down Ray. the PCA yeah. 2019 yeah. main event, <laughs> winning more than $1.5 million. Impressive yeah, performance it. here from the seasoned veteran. Another oh, seven-figure score. Pretty incredible tournament career. What is that, nine, 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 nine something, yeah. yeah. Daniel Strelitz cashes out you, for nearly you. a million. I did. <laughs> 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 Appropriate reaction. I told you you'd be here, bro. I told you. <laughs> the main event is over. There's just one thing left to do here inside Atlantis, and that's to present the main event trophy. Welcome to the winner's presentation for the 2019 PCA main event. Here to help me present the trophy is assistant tournament director Wanda Jesus after five Hard fought days, 865 total entries. It is finally over. Before we hand over the trophy, let's get a big round of applause for our runner up, Daniel Strelitz. Now there's only one thing left to do. One, give that man his trophy once again for Chino Reem. Hello and welcome to the final table of the 2019 PCA Super High Roller. Out of the darkness and into the fire. Hey again. You again, Sam? Oh. Ace, yes. <laughs> oh no, never mind. All right. Good luck. 
Enjoy the beach. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have drinks probably at some point. Right. Bahama Mamas and Pina Coladas. <laughs> James Hardigan, I think, is the, the consummate profession. Oh, yeah, really he's great. Good. Yeah. Still 127 plays remaining. You are on the money players. Once again, congratulations. Woo, we did it! Welcome to day three of the PCA main event. I probably didn't mind a fold there, I should say. <laughs> Out of the darkness and into the fire. Out of the darkness and into the fire. Destiny's waiting to the fire. Wow. Yeah, Money, everyone was bitching about the shorty. The shorty made the pay jump. 